So last time I made a gaming setup tour, I had a lot of comments talking about the actual price of my setup. And a lot of you guys really don't think that it's $10,000. And you're right, it's not $10,000. But a lot of you guys were saying stuff like that's ridiculous. Like it's not even $3,000. It's obviously over $3,000. In today's video, we're going to be taking everything in my gaming setup, adding a price to it, and then getting a grand total for the actual price of my gaming setup. For those of you who are asking why I use $10,000 as a gaming setup, come on. Who doesn't use the number 10000 for their thumbnail? Anyway though, if you like my content and you've been really enjoying my content recently, I want to become full-time on this platform, so that means I'm trying to get monetized, so if you want to help out by getting me monetized, please make sure to like the video because it pushes it out more, and also feel free to subscribe. Reason number one, it's totally free, and reason number two, you can always unsubscribe whenever you want. How this video is going to work is that I'm going to be breaking it up into three parts. Peripherals, which will be stuff like my mouse, keyboard, and mics. My main layout, that'll be everything that's on my wall, including my monitors, my desk. All the big expensive things are going to be tallied up in that. And then the last thing is going to be accessories. We're going to be combining all of those to see the total price of my gaming setup. And a quick disclaimer, most of the things in my gaming setup, I actually didn't buy. Company sent them out to review them. If you're a company and you're watching this video, please send out more stuff to make my gaming setup look more expensive. And because obviously I'm going to promote it. <laughs> Anyway, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Zypher Pro mouse. This mouse is insane. It literally has a fan built inside of the mouse, and it's honestly so clean and comfortable. And the fan is built in so that when you're, like, sweating, it's supposed to cool you down. But the company sent out this mouse in white. Anyway, so the price of the mouse, it was actually $100. So the next thing on our list is the Rokat Volcon. Let me tell you something about this keyboard. This keyboard is insane. I love the build that it has. It's very unique. All the keycaps are flat. Um, it's a new style of keyboard, so the keycaps don't actually cover the entire switch. It looks very, very clean, and you can get this keyboard for around $100 to $120. The next thing we're going to be talking about is something I don't really use anymore because I'm looking to get a stream deck, but right now, this is my current stream deck. Well, it used to be. This is the Ajaz keypad. A lot of people thought that it was a calculator. I don't know how a keypad looks like a calculator. I got it for $25 on Amazon. I'm sure you can just look it up there. We have a lot, but the next thing we're going to be talking about is this mic from Godox. The mic from Godox that I'm using is the EM68, and this is the mic that I've been using for over three months now. I use it for streams, and it's perfect. It blocks out all sound from surrounding rooms, and even though it's a little bit quiet, it's still totally worth it for the sound that you get out of the mic. All right, so next we're going to be talking about something that's not really expensive, but hey, it's in my gaming setup. So next up on the list, we have this custom PS4 controller. I hydro dipped it. And I put a lot of work into hydro dipping this, so I'm gonna add an extra $50 because it took a lot of money to get the materials I needed to hydro dip it. I literally had to go to Walmart and like pick up a ton of things to do it. I'm not adding $50, I'm adding 20. The original price of this controller when I bought it, not what it is now, when I bought it, it came with the PS4, but the price on them uh, around the time I bought it was around $60. So adding $20 to this and making this, um, wait, $80, $80. The next thing on the list is from Asvalo. It's actually a clock that has a light on it. I use it a lot, honestly, because I like to read books. I have a bunch of mangas on my window, and I also like to draw characters from anime because I'm like that. Anyway, though, yeah, the original price of it's around $70. All right, the next thing on the list is the Davoom Ditto Plus. I know a lot of people use this now, and I got this again for free. I'm not trying to flex or anything, I promise you guys. I'm just letting you guys know how much they actually cost because a lot of things, like I said in the beginning of the video, I didn't buy. So I really love this thing because you can like connect it to your phone and it's also used as a speaker. The speaker works great, by the way. I was very impressed. A lot of people call it a mini computer because that's what it looks like. But yeah, you can get this item for around 100 to $120. All right, so we're finished with the peripherals and now it's time to move on to the base, everything in my gaming setup. For this portion of the video, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys and moving you guys around so that you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. All right, so here are my two monitors. This one is a Asus. They're both Asus, but this one is a, 100, is a 240 Hertz. Actually, this one is a 175 hertz monitor, but it's 27 inches. They're both 27 inches. And this one used to be my main monitor, but it's now 144 hertz. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about my PC. This is a non-custom PC. Obviously, it's an Omen PC. Um, I got kind of tricked into getting this PC when I went to go shop at Best Buy. Next time, I'm building a custom PC. But for now, this PC isn't that great. I had to add more RAM to it because the RAM was... It only came with one stick of RAM. But anyway, I got the Corsair Vengeance RAM. So yeah, pretty cool. And uh, if you want to look in there, for all of you smart PC people, you can probably look in there and tell what's in my PC. I don't have any special fans or anything. That's the only thing I really bought. And both of those together was around $150. 
moving on to my desk this is just a basic gaming desk i know that the price is around 1200 dollars though i got it for free because someone just left it outside and then we um later looked up the actual name and price of the desk i forgot the name but i do know it was around 1200 dollars and lastly we have the basic gtr racing chair it's nothing too special everyone has them nowadays um but yeah i got this chair for around 350 dollars so yeah now the price should be on the screen for how much everything on this side of my gaming setup has costed all right so the last things we're going to be talking about my gaming setup are the accessories those two things behind me are accessories the rgb strip is an accessory there's a lot of accessories in my gaming setup that make my gaming setup show off my personality and what i like so that's what we're about to go do all right, so first things first, we have the Gobi Glides. The Gobi Glides have been amazing to me. I love Gobi Glides so much. You could also like customize them too. Right now I have them as blue because it was raining outside and I wanted it to feel nice and comfortable, but you can change them to whatever colors. There's literally over like billions, there's billions of different color designs that you can do on their app. But anyway, this costs $100. All right, sorry my room's a little bit messy, but right here we have an oil diffuser. If you don't know what it is, you just put scents in it and then you close this, turn it on, and then it just, diffuses the scents it smells really nice and i got this for around 30 dollars you can get them on amazon they make your room smell so good it's totally worth it too all right over here we have obito's mask if you don't know who obito is he's just a character from naruto and i love anime so i decided to put this up on my wall just to show that i like anime like i said anyway i got this from um a halloween store back last year when halloween was halloween and a store popped up so i got this it was around like $20. And I know a lot of you guys in the comments are probably about to be like, oh, this isn't your whole entire gaming setup. Now you're showing your room. Uh, I thought you were only going to show your gaming setup. My whole entire room is my gaming setup. I have so much stuff all around my room that is technically an entire gaming setup. So I guess we could just say that this is my room tour or whatever. Anyway, though, these are the Luminosity LEDs. I love these, but um, I've had them for a super long time. And I also have a third one. I want to put that one over there. But anyway, both of these combined, we'll just put them combined. Both of them combined come in at around $50. And then at the very, very top of my room, we have Govi's LED strips. Um, these LED strips are just like the Glide Wall Light. They do the same thing over so many colors and stuff. But I got these. Shout out to Govi because they sent me both of these, by the way. But I got these for around $60. And last but not least, we have this air purifier right here. I got it from Okasu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, yeah. Basically, it just takes all the dust and stuff and puts it into the filter. And then in about, like, it's like every, like, three months, you're supposed to, like, change it out and collect all the dust from it just to keep your room clean. The price of it, I got it sent out, but the price of it is around $100. All right, guys, so we came up with a grand total to uh, close to $5,000. So I think we're just going to round up and say that my gaming setup is $5,000. When you guys are seeing the video, the price is right here, but I can't see it. Anyway, though, that is it for the video. For those of you people who were like, how much is your gaming setup? If you watched to the end, now you know how much my gaming setup actually is. So once again, I appreciate you guys for showing all the love and support on the last video I did. I did that video with Biggie and shout out to him for being down to do the video. But anyway, yeah, that's it for me. So I will see you guys all in the next upload.